Hey everyone and welcome to another stunning day here on the Gold Coast. You join us in paradise here on Mermaid Beach. We're 15 minutes from Surfers Paradise, around 50 minutes from Brisbane. And on today's tour, we're gonna to be showing you one of the most incredible properties that I've seen, prime beachfront location. So it's actually this white property that you can see in the background. Honestly, like the interiors of this home are truly magnificent. I can't wait to show you. And let me tell you as well, let me tell you how good it feels to be starting this tour with our feet on the sand. We've dreamed of this for a very long time. We started out this channel touring luxury homes in the UK and around London. And here we are in Australia about to show you an amazing beachfront property. So it was a 1950s original kind of beach shack bungalow. And it has been completely transformed. It really, really has by Harry Poulos and his team of architects. And they are based in Brisbane. The property is also now listed on Airbnb. So you guys, you can actually come and stay here and look at this view that you can enjoy. Prices range from around 1,500 to 3,000 Aussie dollars per night, depending on the season. But the great thing about the Gold Coast is it's pretty much sunny all year round as we're enjoying right now. Summer, are you excited to see this home? I am so excited. And how about this location? It's probably the best location ever. <laughs> totally agree. This is a dream. This is probably one of my favorite properties we've seen. Not the biggest, not the most expensive, but the location, the vibes, I really love it. I'm excited to show you. Let's go check it out. All right, we are now moments from the sand on the decking area at the rear of the property. And we've also got this lawn space where Summer is currently standing. We're gonna do a full detailed look at this area later on in the video. But firstly, I wanna take you to the front of the property, show you what the street looks like and also the house on the front. There are some amazing architectural features there. So let's go check it out now. Here we are, 65 Hedges Avenue. So Summer and I actually often run along this road. We go mansion spotting essentially, because this is otherwise known as Millionaire's Road. So this is the exterior from the front. Now what I like is when you walk past, it's actually very understated, but at the same time, pretty architecturally amazing when you take a closer look at the detailing, like the roof of this carport area. And we've also got lovely landscaping throughout. I like the house number in white here. Just a really nice vibe as you come to the entrance. Then moving up the stairs, we've also got this big um, stone wall, which is quite like a showstopper as you walk in. All right, let's go inside and Summer will show you around. Hey guys, welcome inside. So this house has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and is around 200 square meters. We're starting off in the open plan living kitchen area. I'll quickly show you the lounge first. Very cozy area, lots of earthy tones throughout the house. And you've also got vaulted ceilings. Oak flooring all across the floor. And gorgeous and furnishings, right? Yeah, gorgeous furniture. It's literally like Pinterest. 100%. So this is the kitchen. This island is so big. I love this worktop. It's a stone. If you come a bit closer, Matt, you can see like the effect. Okay. We've got space down here for four bar stools. I'm just going to take a step back and show this overall space again. Yeah. Do you know what is so amazing? This is all a converted bungalow. I know. So it's not new build and the uh, architects and their team have just done an amazing job, I think. To know that this was like a really old little like, it was like a shack. Yeah, kind of thing. They've renovated it. shack. It's cute. Works so well. Then on this side, you have more space for two bar stools. Over here is the fridge freezer, Ooh. fish room peco. Big one. Then you've got the Bosch oven and microwave. I found this really cute pantry as well. Even the bowls are cute. Yes, they are so cute. This would be an awesome place to stay as an Airbnb, wouldn't it? I feel like the kitchen as well, it's so modern, but also has a really cute retro yeah. feel. Yeah. And that's probably because certain like designs and stuff are coming back in, I guess. I do see what you mean, yeah. They've gone for brass hardware throughout the kitchen and the bathrooms. Nice. And I love this tiling effect. I was well, should we go a bit then. closer to that? Yeah, this is a gorgeous style. And then they've got the LED light above. How many chopping boards have they got? Oh, I'd love the big pizza on that um, yeah. big chopping board there. Then over here, actually, I can't miss this huge Yeah, let me get a better pot. look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a wooden breakfast dining table. Perfect place to have breakfast and look out to that incredible view. So coming out of the by four doors, you've actually got two sets of doors. 
onto the decking area. This is one of my favorite parts. There's this section and wait to the end of the video, we have something so awesome to show you which is just above us. I'm really happy with how many seating areas there is out here. Those two spots there, perfect place for us both to just enjoy those insane ocean views. Wait, these chairs move, I think. Yeah, they're oh, yeah, on wheels. They've got little wheels on. And let's got take a look at the details over this side as well. Yeah, so the panelling up here, you've got the glass above, and then this gorgeous panelling up there too. And this area has timber battening, I think it's called. Yeah. So basically, you're just by sheltered from the wind, which a lot of the properties don't actually have on Hedges Avenue. So you can chill out here in this section here. Yeah, the Mykonos-inspired seating chillax area. Yeah, this kind of does remind me of Mykonos. <laughs> I, <love that. laughs> I know. <laughs> Is it, how does it feel? Is it nice? It feels good. Okay. And then if you're feeling like eating outside, you can just come on this gorgeous big dining table. I can imagine this would be lovely in the evening. What a spot just to hang out with all your family. Yeah. Have an amazing dinner outside after a long walk on the beach. And just before we continue, you've yeah. also got these curtains so you can actually close this area like off if it is raining or, you know, a bit windy. Yeah, good idea. Barbecue out here, of course. It wouldn't be an Australian home without a barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> Get the barbecue on, the shrimps on the barbie. <laughs> That's I love it. And then you've also got this huge space here. They've put two sun beds for sunbathing. I think we should get a little taster yeah? of what that's going to be like. Right, okay. guys, finishing the tour here. <laughs> Crazy. Wow, Matt, you've got to turn around and just quickly look at the view Take again. Down. Imagine waking up and just walking down to the beach. That's just the dream view. Everything that we've wanted to come and tour homes like this, to live in a place like this. Yeah. And I'm so happy that we're here now to share this with everyone. So we've got three bedrooms to show you on the ground floor and then a bedroom. You can actually see it. Can you see the windows? Yeah. That's Until a very you see special that bedroom. Room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we said the same thing. <laughs> okay, let's come back in. I love the size of this house. I just feel like it's that perfect size where it's not too big, but it's still cozy and spacious. Totally agree. I actually also love bungalows. Yeah. And I know that sounds no. really strange, <laughs> but just the fact that most of your accommodation is still on the ground floor yeah. and you've got one room upstairs. Maybe because that's where you used to apartments. Yes. Not we, necessarily a bungalow like, a tra like what we are used to. A stylish bungalow. A bungalow with an ocean view on the beach like this, then yeah, amazing. So let's start off at the very first door. <laughs> I love bungalows, that's going to be the merch, new merch coming soon. Gorgeous interior design, got a large walk-in shower, again with the brass um, nice. fittings. Very spacious. So spacious, isn't it? Particularly for a home that's been converted as well. Usually these older properties have smaller bathrooms. This is just a laundry room. Coming into first bedroom. I love how they've styled it. It just is such a great Airbnb. Of course, isn't it? It's minimal, but it just yeah. works so well and still feels super world-class luxury. It's just so bathroom. much beachy vibes. <laughs> Another bedroom here, cozy. You've actually got a wardrobe section and then if you didn't want to use the bedroom upstairs, this would be the main bedroom downstairs because you've got the ensuite. Yeah. Same style as the other bathroom. What does everyone think to the style? Let us know in the comments. Gorgeous. Lots what an of amazing place. Rooms. Sorry, Sammy, carry on. No, yeah, you carry on, babe. What an amazing place to come and stay with all your friends and family. I was thinking, you know, with four yes. bedrooms, you can split the price between four or eight people, whatever. Kids' bedroom, twin beds. Lots of wardrobe space in this room, actually. Nice. Air Aircon throughout, thank God. And Great that, ceiling heights. Yeah, but that's yeah. why it's a bungalow. That's why, because it's a bungalow. Yes. Maybe, actually, no, normal houses have big ceiling heights, right? Oh, it all depends, doesn't it? OK, shall I take the camera now, Matt, and you take us up to the oh, special thing upstairs? I'm going to take upstairs? everyone, OK. Hey, everyone, let's check out upstairs. Come on over. Shall we just quickly Ooh. point out? That's the front door. That is the front door. There it is, front door. OK, let's go. Up. OK, welcome to the principal suite. And I'm going to say the best views that I've ever seen in a principal bedroom, in my personal opinion. So check out this room. So for one, it's a gorgeous sized room, if that even makes sense. 
So we've got the bed <laughs> here directly facing out to the ocean and you've got these gigantic windows as well, really framing the ocean and the palm tree surrounding like a perfect picture. We've got ample wardrobe space on this side, as you can see, hanging rails, lots of space. And how about these lights, eh? Quite cute. Yeah, Do -do 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 -do. Light. <laughs> Sorry, mate, you just standing there, Yes. with that view, literally looks like just a painting. That's your vision board, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Making that view. <laughs> it is. I hope so. So, here then, it seems to like we've got a lot of this, what material is this? It feels like marble, you know. Yeah, it is marble, I marble. think. Marble, yeah. So, so many space. I would personally have quite a few plants in this area, um, obviously taking advantage of the natural light. And then it comes round, actually, to the ensuite. I'm a fan of how that it's open, so there's no separate door, which means that all the light comes in and your views are in uninterrupted. So, we've then got marble basin unit here with the sink, again, the gold hardware. And actually, standing here, looking at the mirror, getting ready, you can also see all of the ocean through there. Let me see if, oh yes, wow. And you know what? If you're in what? the shower or on the toilet, shall I sit on the toilet with the camera and see what? Okay. That's a first for a house tour. <laughs> Guys, that's your view from the bathroom. Wow. Doesn't Dream it seem real? I feel like the property is perfect size as well. Nothing crazy, nothing too big, but got every single thing that you would need. And it doesn't stop there because my personal favorite bit is actually through this door. Come on. Wow. Now this is just perfect. Taking a sit here, whether it's the evening, morning, you want to just chill out. Oh, doesn't get better than this. Got gorgeous ocean breeze coming on, beautiful, clear, sunny skies. What a place and what a cute little outdoor little terrace area. All right, we just propped the camera up so that we can both be in the shot. Here we are on the Matt and Summer channel. Hope you guys enjoyed looking around this house. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, yes. We'll leave the link in the description um, for the Airbnb and the architect's details. Um, and they also have their own Instagram page, yes. which you can kind of see a bit of the renovation on, which is cool. So yeah, head over to Instagram, check that out. Make sure you're following us over there and just look forward to more tours. So us and the team will be bringing you lots of UK tours all around London, around Europe, and also over here in Australia. So thanks so much for being a part of the channel, guys, and supporting us. Do hit that like button for the old algorithm. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and we'll see you in the next video.